everybody. Today the question is, how can I find my direction? Lots of people have asked me this kind of question in one way or another. The, the gist of it is, I've got passion, I've got a desire to create, I've got this, this burning inside me that I really need to do something about, but what? Everybody tells me I need to make a plan, how do I make a plan? These kinds of questions. How can I find my direction? And if you know me, you know I'm not crazy about making big plans. I mean, it's great to have goals and dreams and all of that, but at the end of the day, you don't know what you don't know, right? And if I make my plans four or five years from now based on who I am now, I'm also kind of freezing myself into a five-year-old version of myself, which isn't great, right? A lot of people will tell you, well, figure out what you want, but... I'm not going to tell you that because at the end of the day, here's the thing. I love you. I think you're great and important and smart and beautiful and all of that. But here's the deal. What you want isn't all that interesting. I mean, it really isn't. I'm not interested in you being the kind of person who goes after what they want as much as you might think. Because here's the deal. If everybody gets what they want, all we get is a bunch of people who are chasing their own egos. This isn't about what you want. This is about what you're called to do. This isn't about what you want to do. It's what you need to do in order to be a human being, a spiritual person, a, a, somebody on this planet. What do you, you have to do in order to be you? This isn't about you, what you want. Lots of people who fall in love, for example, didn't want to fall in love. It's not about what they want. Lots of people who received inspiration might have rather have stayed small because it's easy. This isn't about what you want. What you want will keep you in your comfort zone. So I'm not going to tell you to go after what you want. That's boring and it's egotistical and I've had enough of it. It's in every self-help book and I'm sick of it. What are you called to do? That's the thing. So how can I find my direction? Well, take some time and figure out what really makes your heart sing. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be world changing. It's gonna be you changing to the degree that you give yourself to it. It can be a tiny little thing. What makes your heart sing? What do you lose track of time doing? This is stuff that we talk about all the time. You can find your direction by finding some little thing that you do, that you engage with, that you read about, that you create, that really speaks to you. That you can say with honesty, this is me. Doesn't matter if it's big or small but it will give you the direction you need. Find a way to go boldly in the direction of that thing that calls you and you will find more things and more things. And before too long, you don't have to have a five-year plan. You just have to be able to connect the dots. You already have a calling inside of you. We're all born with it. Stop thinking about what you wanna do and start focusing on what you are called to do because that is what the world needs. And what I need is more of these questions. Please keep them coming. You can do that by posting to social media with the hashtag AskDieter or by writing to me on my website, waypastokay, W-A-Y-P-A-S-T-O-K-A-Y dot com. Thanks for liking and subscribing, and most of all, thanks for sharing these posts. You got this.